Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you. It's a little bit past midnight. Oh my, look at the time. And we have officially entered 2011, people. So break out the fireworks and party hats. Now you might be wondering, why isn't I not had deep out in town partying? Well, that's because I'm a good boy. And good boys don't party on New Year's. No, 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 no. Instead, they sit in their rooms all alone and talk to their camera. Yep, great, great fun. Well, you might be wondering what I'm going to be talking to you about. Not really, but now that you mention it, what's up? Uh, nothing much. How about you? Nah, nothing much either. <coughs> Snap out of it! Will I be talking about the upcoming Tanang Bai elections? Nah. Will I be talking about the floods in Northeast Australia? Nah. Will I be talking about the- Oh, tell us already! Okay, okay. I'm gonna be talking about what any Malaysian would be talking about at this particular moment in time. BOLA! That's football or soccer, depending on where you're from. That's right, the national football team winning the AFF Suzuki Cup. They made the whole country cheer and puff their chests out like they never lost the war. It's good to be the kings of Southeast Asia. And of course, I'm proud of them. Very, very proud. Bafana, bafana. Alas, this video will also contain a message for all you viewers. Especially Malaysians. Dear Malaysians, I am sincerely jubilant and heartwarmed by your appreciation and support towards the national team and their achievement. However, try taking yourselves back to the first game of the tournament when the Malaysian team were on the wrong side of a 5-1 bashing by the same opponents, Indonesia. What were your reactions then? Well, uh, hard luck on them lah. Huh? You can't blame them entirely since, uh, you know, they're still a young team and they need time to settle down. If you reacted like that, I salute you. But a more common response would sound a bit more like this. Boom, I'm all on the Hmm, Malaysia is my suck one. Haha, say, but I'm so strong, I'm you. Where'd that support and adoration go then, huh? But of course, there's nothing wrong with criticism. But for crying out loud, choose those words carefully, oh Malaysians. It's like what a teacher says to a student when he gets a D in a test. The teacher can either say, You got a D? Why are you even bother studying? You're so stupid! Or, the teacher can say, Awang, you seem to have gotten a D for your latest test. Come on, Awang, I know you can do better than this. Now, if you were the kid, would you rather have the A teacher speak to you, or the B teacher? In which situation would you have been more motivated to keep on studying and keep working hard to improve yourself? Think about it, my dear brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles. Whew. So on a much less preaching note, I would like to wish all my viewers out there a very happy New Year and May 2011 bring blessings and prosperity to all of you, inshallah. So that's all from me. Till next time, may peace be upon you. Uh, so you may click here for last week's video and in the meantime, time, I'll show you this new book I bought yesterday. It's called Islam in Malaysia Perceptions and Facts uh, by Muhammad Asri Zainul Abidin. Very good book. A really interesting read for any open-minded Malaysian out there, be it Muslim or non-Muslim. I recommend it to anyone who is not narrow-minded or claim to be so. So go ahead and click the link. Yeah, click, click here. Click, click, click.